What is going on guys and welcome back to Strongman episode number 7. It is a beautiful day out today, the sun is in my face and uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This time we're going to be filming our, my version of a push day in front of a beautiful backdrop. So this episode is going to be the power lines edition. Um, so my version of a push day is going to start with the bench press. Um, I'm going to do two sets off camera and then to finish I'm going to do two sets um, on camera with you guys. Um, and then moving forward I will do the uh, overhead log press and then I will go on to stone to shoulder uh, with also a overhead press with the shoulder and then I will finish it off with some skull crushers into an ab workout. So without further ado let's get right into it. Oh hey guys, I didn't see you there. This is what I've done for my first two sets of bench press. Now let's get on to the next two. Alright guys, so moving on to the log press. Uh, this is what I've done previous to this and I got two more sets to go. So far I'm feeling pretty good and I just wanted to say really quickly, if you're someone that has only worked out indoors um, as many people like myself, you know, before I started doing Strongman, I, all I did was work out inside for years. And um, I, I gotta say, like, if you haven't worked out outside, I highly recommend you try it. Because working out outside in the sun Getting that vitamin D, uh, working out in the, in nature, there's nothing there's nothing comparable, and I gotta say, like it's way better. Um, the experience is just it's it's so much better, and and I highly recommend that you try it because when you when you finished your workout, especially w when you completed it outside, you just feel so much more like a man, and 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 you feel better, like you just you feel much better finishing a workout. Um, so if you've never tried it before, figure out a way to do it. Ask your gym owner or whoever to see if you can bring some equipment outside, a workout outside, find some stones, find some rocks, whatever it is that you got to do, and get out there and work outside because there's, there's no better feeling. So uh, let's get into our next set with the overhead log press.
All right guys, so we're moving on to the stone two shoulder. I'm also gonna be overhead pressing it, so I'm gonna do three per side and uh, six overhead press total. Um, considering I'm not wearing a shirt, this might be a terrible idea, but let's see what happens. Those are way, way more difficult than I anticipated. Holy sh! guys so that's gonna do it for the stone overhead press to shoulder or shoulder to overhead press um, I gotta say dangerous what I was doing there was a couple times where I was just pushing it up and not even thinking about it just just to, for the sake of getting it up and uh, if I wasn't careful it could have slipped out of my hands and hit my head so uh, if you ever do overhead pressing with a stone be careful if that hits your head I mean even the rock that I'm overhead pressing is like 80 pounds or so I'll, I'll put I'll have put it up on the screen already um, is a lot to drop on your head so uh, be careful um, at, you know as careful as you can be with this stuff um, but anyway so um, normally I do uh, soil crushers on the ground or on a bench but I've already set I've already put my bench away I don't, I don't want to set it back up again and um, I can't do it on the ground because as you can see, it's all stone, and so that would hurt like hell for me to lay on. 
and uh, skull crushes. So I'm just going to wing it and I'm going to try to uh, do it while standing up. So I uh, haven't done these before, so we'll see how they feel. Always got to try something new and adapt to your circumstances. Let's get into it. Those actually feel, uh, felt pretty good. Um, definitely feel them in my tricep, which is what I'm trying to, which is what I'm trying to hit. So uh, that was good. Let's go on to the ab workout. This is where we turn the boys into men. Let's do it. guys that is going to do it for strongman episode number seven it has been completed um, if you've made it to this point in the video um, like I always say I genuinely appreciate it um, being a very small youtuber um, every view counts um, and when I hear people saying that they've watched it from start to end and that my videos are getting better and that they enjoyed it that I just get so excited by it so um if, if you've enjoyed it, if you've made it to this point, thank you so much. Um, stay tuned for uh, my next episode uh, coming up this Friday. Um, comment below. Uh, let me know what you would want me to do. I mean, so far I've done cold tubs, I've done walk and talks, um, and there's a couple other things that I wanted to do. I, I want to start building different things, uh, mostly strongman related. So, like, I want to buy the uh, the Rogue uh, Atlas Stone cast and make my own Atlas Stone and just film me doing that. Um, I also want to do some cooking videos where I just like cook different like meal preps, um, like not traditional meal preps. Like um, I, I have a few ideas. Um, so like I, I want to do a Korean uh, army stew. Like I think that would be so cool. Most people don't even know what Korean army stew is. So I, and it's a great meal prep by the way. Um, so uh, I, I, I want to do those things. So uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys might want to see in the future um, for my miscellaneous videos on Fridays. But uh, anyways, that's, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing, please. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.